Everybody knows Nick Halti? I saw him the first time in a show called Richmond, Richmond Poor Man. Do you remember? Yep. He was a good looking young fella. Well, and then he started drinking. So for the people here who drink too much, watch it. <laughs> So you could change from, <coughs> from this to this, it's already worse. Yeah, this was somewhere on the road. Look what's happening. Yeah. Interesting pictures, aren't they? About this one. There is a real a good one. Here he resembles my brother. No, he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice picture that's you have. Yeah, a lot of structures. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to do that first, but actually I want to do this one. Okay. Speaking of the photos of, of Nick Nauti, and then I'm going to show the photo here. One I wanted to use first, but I think it's a little bit too skinny to be rep representative for Nick Nauti. So what is nice to see here that he has kind of a, a double shape in his face. Um, his forehead is skewed to the left. And you can see that in all the pictures, it come, it's coming back. It's coming back. Not that when he's really young, but let me show you some other pictures. See? Again, the same expression. So he's lifting his right mouth angle which is left on the picture. And his face is going like that. So this is what I would call a banana shape, a little bit. So it would not be bad to dry a banana for a start. So that's what we're going to do. See? Here too, not so much, but... So I think if you see pictures of Nick Nolte, um, you can see when the picture is rotated in the wrong way because it's like this, not like that. So this might be a good picture, maybe this one, maybe this one. Another white beard? Yeah, that's coincidence. Maybe we will draw a girl for the next one. They don't usually <laughs> have... Sharpen your pencil. <coughs> so what I like about this photo, um, it is kind of a dynamic photo, not too much uh, uh, symmetry. Right? It's a little bit attitude, it's like, right? so I like that. Also in this drawing, don't put the face in the middle of your page. Look at the picture and try to see before before you start drawing, try to decide what you want to get on your paper. It's not only the face, it's the, the posture. Right? So in this case, um, well, you could make a horizontal drawing if you want. That would be good. Um, so I would... For a start, okay. A little bit left corner of the face, side of the page. Sorry. <coughs> this guy also has a, a small eye nose triangle shape. The eyes are a little bit close to the nose again. So in, indeed, these two people have a little bit of a relation, uh, how should I say, type face, right? But they are looking different, so that's kind of a challenge. Right?
sometimes, of course, your drawing is grow, growing or changing a little bit. Um, you take decisions, you try to make decisions before you start, but sometimes you have to adjust a little bit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of normal. Right? Mm. <coughs> See? It's a banana or a bean shape or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> so uh, after this, I think he starts to look like it. Huh? Um, you could add some shadows here to get the feeling of the three-dimensional shape. Uh, usually in this stadium, I go to the nose first because it's kind of an anchor point. If the nose is uh, well situated and has the right character, the rest is kind of filling in. Sometimes the, the nose is more important, sometimes the eyes are important. In this case, the eyes are not that important, but what is important is the way they are in his face, they are like that. Huh? Low and tired and sometimes drunk. And <clears throat> Let's see the shade here. So, you see also that he's lifting his uh, left eyebrow a little bit higher. How can you see it? You can see it in the eyebrow, but you can also see it in the wrinkles here. Right? So probably that's a part of his typical expression. <laughs> it's important while you draw to, to read fully, to understand. And while you're drawing, sometimes you see things that you didn't see at the start of the drawing. Now, it's a little bit hard for me to, um, to see what you are doing in the meantime, but if people afterwards um, want some advice, or um, I'm here. <coughs> You have, you have been seeing what, happened, what has been happening to his face. It's kind of a Hemingway syndrome, right? <laughs> this is what happens when you not only get older, but the way you get older is important. Give a little bit extra shade here to make the beard pop up a little bit. And I like 
some cross hatching. I usually do that. It's not a necessity here. But, um, well, it's kind of filling the page. So I think, uh, again, we reach the point of where the basic sketch of a person could have an See? I hope you, you see some resemblance. Okay. This would be my basic sketch from the model. Okay.